Alright, you're all playing bastards. This is my last video for Gridfall and I wanted to give you a list of all the things that I've collected during my playthrough. I finished all the side quests and all the personal quests. Well, actually I did not finish Seraph Edin's side quest because I couldn't be arsed picking up all the notes. I have most of unique weapons and armor sets, but I am missing some. I can't also remember for the life of me how I got some of them and that is where you can come in and help other people that are watching this video by providing necessary information that is missing from this video. I did not find any armor sets that require endurance of 5 but I did find plenty of weapons that have stat requirement of 5. Most of these uniques are either found in the game world, dropped from some enemies, some are given as faction rewards and so on. Anyway, let's go. Let's start off with weapons. First we have Ring of Divine Fury. I think you get this by doing San Mateo's side quest. It can be even the side quest where you need to find Saint Mateus himself. Either it dropped from a certain enemy or it was given to you as a reward for finishing a quest. I can't be sure at this moment so please post in comments if you know exact information. Then we have Grand Saber of the Far East. This is given to you as faction reward for reaching friendly status with notes. Spoiler ahead for Duncan's Peacemaker X, so if you don't want to know how to get it, please skip to the next weapon. This X is given to you after choosing Duncas as your preferred High King. When trying to form alliance to fight the final boss, Duncas will give you this X as a reward. If you choose different leaders, then you'll get different rewards, at least I believe so. Forgotten Saber of Al-Sad dropped for me upon defeating certain guardian that is near the end of the game. I don't think this weapon can be missed. Story spoiler for this one as well, so skip it if you don't want to know about it. I'm not sure at what point we get High King Wingbar Sword, but I guess it's after defeating him. Or maybe after completing the quest connected to him, so it can't be missed. At least I think so. Then we have many weapons that are found in the game world and I have videos for each and every one of them. These are Saber of the Sea People, Fencer Stiletto, Great Scythe, Light Flamberge, Great Honor Duel Flamberge. Broadsword of the Deceased King is given to you upon finishing all challenges in the arena. Hammer of the Forgotten Gods is given to you upon achieving nice status with Coin Guard. There's one blade that I'm missing and it's called Yatagan. This thing can be found in the chest after defeating boss in Ancient Secrets mission. I can't remember where I got Sacrificial Sword at all, so please post in comments correct information for it. A silly blunderbuss is found at the end of In the Name of Science side quest. For the exact location check out my video on it. Officer's Aquabus is given to you upon reaching friendly status with the Bridge Alliance. There is also a legendary unique pistol, but I can't find exact information where to get it. One person commented that Governor of Hikmet gives you this particular pistol before the final mission, but I went to him and didn't get anything. So I can't confirm or deny it. Now let's switch to armor sets. I'll just cover torso pieces because usually you can find gauntlets and boots of the same set the same way that you get torso piece. Helmets can sometimes seem that they are not part of the same set because they have different names so I'm really not sure as to what constitutes part of the set and what doesn't. So I don't even want to go there. Commander set can be obtained at the end of Kurt's personal quest. I have video for that so you can check it out if you need more information. Saint Matthias armor set can be found in the cave where you find stuff about Saint Matthias himself. For the exact location you can check my video on it. Warrior King set can be found in two places. One place has gauntlets and boots, other place has helm and torso piece. For the exact locations check out my video for it. Cardinal set can be found in northern part of ancient woods region. This part can be only accessed, at least I believe, during In the Name of Science side quest. For more information you can check my video on it as well. Major set can be found in two locations in Whale of the Great Battle region. Surprise, surprise, I have video for that as well if you need to know exact locations. 
Merchant Prince ceremonial set can be found relatively early in the game in Singing Waters region. Check out my video where exactly you can find it. A silly set can be found during the In the Name of Science side quest. It is given to you before entering Dr. Asili's laboratory. It's not that good, however. Then we have necklaces. I believe Grand Chain of the Ordo Luminous is faction reward, but I can't remember exactly. You need to have friendly status with Teleme to receive this chain. If I'm wrong, please correct me in the comment section, because I can't remember exactly. Healer's chain, I have absolutely no clue where I got it, but if it was given to me in a very specific way, I would do video about it, considering that I did not do video about it, I think it can be found quite easily. Medal of Saint Matthias is granted early on in the game, after some main quest, so you can't really miss it. That would be all for this video and Gridfall in general. Thank you all for the support and for watching my videos. I wish I could give you more specific info about some weapons and items from this video, but I just can't remember and there is so little information about this game, which is also why I'm missing some of the information. Thanks all and have a good one.